Uh, so, like I said, this morning is a, a special Sunday. This is a send-off Sunday. So just to let you know how the morning is going to go, uh, in a minute I'm going to actually call the, the families up, the, the New Orleans church planting team, and we're just going to put them in front of you so that you, as we start this service, can, can see them, can start to, to pray for them, to see the, the children while they're still here, uh, settled for a little bit longer. And then, uh, then Smed's going to come back up. We're going to sing a couple more songs. Smed will come up and preach. And then at the end of our service, we're going to call the families back up. And the elders are going to come up and, and going to pray for them and really commission them for this work. So uh, I have an opportunity just to say a, a few words about, about these families that we all know and love so well. And I came across this quote by John Newton earlier this year that I thought uh, captured this moment so well. John Newton writes, The Lord has given his people a desire and will aiming at great things. Without this, they would be unworthy the name Christian. And we get to participate uh, as a church family in this great ambition to see a, a church planted, uh, a new body of believers formed in, in New Orleans. And, and as we send these families off for this work, I'm sure all of us can think about just different memories, uh, different encouragements, laughs, uh, sermons, different uh, things the Lord has used from these families to, to encourage and strengthen us. And I just want to share a few of those. Uh, for me, uh, my um, relationship, friendship with Omri Miles started really on a, a street corner, uh, on the corner of uh, Mill and Fifth Avenue in downtown Tempe, uh, with another brother, Ben Seacott, who is here as well uh, from another local church, uh, where we just, for, for about three years, Thursday nights, got to preach the gospel, cold turkey evangelism. And uh, that, that was the start of a friendship around the gospel, around ministry, uh, that grew into our families becoming just dear, dear friends, our wives becoming friends, and getting to even serve on staff with Omri. And just, uh, just to lock arms in ministry together has been, been such a privilege. And so many of you have experienced that, that love, that friendship, that fellowship with the Miles. Uh, and the, the Dudleys, it's the, the same story for us. Our, our friendship has grown as we've served in the church. We've got to do uh, student ministries with the Dudleys. We've got to watch them care for your junior high and high schoolers. We've got to see Nick challenge high school young men to say, I don't want to hear you just say the right words about Jesus, but to challenge them, do you actually follow Jesus? And with the, the Robinsons, the same story getting to serve side by side uh, in the young adults ministry, watching uh, Derek challenge young men to be men, to be leaders. Uh, getting to participate, we, we got the opportunity to host their New Orleans team meetings and watching these families uh, pray together, sing together, watching children wild in the backyard, and just and so much joy shared with these families. And, and the reason I tell those stories is because I think you can all resonate. I think you all have your own stories about the, the Miles, the Dudleys, the Robinsons, and, and all of those stories, I think what they all have in common is those stories center around the life of this church. And they have poured themselves into this church. You know, all of the, the encouragements, all of the, the fun, all of the, the laughs, the games. Uh, I can even think about uh, Nick Dudley being at our house till, till midnight on several occasions uh, because he, a uh, best of, of three series would turn into a best of five series, would turn into a best of seven series uh, because he's the, the most competitive man I've ever met. And, uh, but, but all of those things are just are so sweet because they've centered around uh, this church, around God's people. Because these families, they, they love God's people. And they love God's people because they love Christ. And because Jesus died for the church. And so they're eager to pour themselves out for God's people. And, and those who are in Christ, as you know, by faith in Christ, you are part of God's family. We are a household. And we have been treated by the, the Miles, the Dudleys, the Robinsons, by Judy Heddens. We have been treated like family. Each of you have experienced that. Uh, to be treated like brothers and sisters in the Lord from these families. So we, we have a, an opportunity just to, just to encourage each other with what the Lord has done through them. And what makes this, uh, this time hard is, is actually a good thing. You know, I've heard Smed say several times, if it, if it wasn't hard, we wouldn't be doing it right. You know, if, the, if it wasn't sad to send these people off, they would be the wrong kind of people to send. You know, the, the reason it's hard to send is because they have poured their life into this church. And they go to do the same thing somewhere else, to, to be the church, to uphold God's truth in the world with their message and by their very lives. And what's really sweet about these, these families in particular is I think about Omri and Emily and, and Derek and Pam. The four of them actually came to this church as singles in their 20s. They met each other in this church. 
They just submitted to the, the teaching of this church. They, they poured themselves into body life. They were married in this church. They had kids in this church. Uh, Nick Dudley was, was saved as a high schooler. A rebel heart hearing the preaching of the word and just a radical transformation. Uh, met Brittany in California, married her, and they, they began their life together in this church. So it is just, just so sweet to think about the, the faithfulness of God to this church through these families. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call them up here with all the, the kids in tow, just as a, a special moment really in the life of this church to recognize what God has done, the, the years of preparation, the years of discipleship and encouragement. So uh, Nick, Nick and Brittany Dudley, if you guys would come up, Zakai, Gimli, Galadriel, and they, uh, if you don't know this, they have a baby boy due uh, early next year. And for, for the parents in the room, I don't know if you've heard the story, but about a week before they had baby Galadriel, Nick, uh, Nick texted uh, two options for names. And in our student ministries across the hall on a Sunday night, we took a vote on these, which of these names. So I don't, I don't know if Nick and Brittany would agree with this statement, but I like to think that the students here named baby Galadriel. So you get to participate in that. I'll uh, call the, the Robinsons, if you guys would come up. Pam and Derek. Uh, Judy Heddens. Judy is Derek's mom. She's been a faithful member in this church for several years. And she will be, be with them in this work. Kess and Lee. Jay. Imara. Manoa. And then the, the Miles. Team Miles. Omri, Emily. Chloe, Obi. Jonah, Zeke. And Nash. If you guys would all come up. This is, uh, this is the, the church planting team, New Orleans church planting team led by Pastor Omri Miles. And what you see here are, are years of faithfulness, like I said, years of faithfulness that the Lord has, has done in this church. Years of discipleship, years of training, hours and hours of ministry in this church. So we get an opportunity just to, to thank the Lord for, for what he has done in and through them. And, and really, this is the start. All of those years, this is really the start of what, what the labor is. You know, they go off tomorrow, driving to a new place to start a new work. And this is a monumental task, to see a healthy New Testament church in New Orleans East in a hard place. And just to remind you that this mission, it will not be successful uh, because of, of resources, it will not be successful because of the training, as important as that is. It will not be successful because of the, the eloquence of Omri's preaching. This mission will only be successful if Jesus acts, if God in his sovereign grace raises the dead. So, so we send this team, not with a, a special blueprint for church planting, not with a special program, but we send them equipped with the word of God, you know, in a confidence uh, lives that have proven faithfulness to this word and a confidence that this word is what God uses to raise the dead. That Jesus would build his church through the proclamation of the word. And they will get there and Amr will preach the word of God. And then they will pray and they will pray and they will pray that God would act. So, so we put them up here in front of you to, to ask you to pray for them. To ask you to pray for their families. To ask you to pray for their kids. To, to ask you to pray for, for their parents, those that are saying goodbye to loved ones, uh, to pray for this new work, and to continue, Grace Bible Church, to encourage them in this work. You know, this is a, a ministry of Grace Bible Church. We get an opportunity as a church to, to plant, to come alongside, to see the gospel go forth, so that one day they would be a, a church, a healthy church that can plant other churches. So we're going we're gonna to take a minute. We're going to be able to, to send the kids here in a minute. We wanted to put them in front of you here so that you could come. Give them a hug. We have about a five-minute break in our service. And then we'll send the kids off. And then, like I said, at the end of our service, they'll come back up. We will uh, pray. The elders will pray for them, commission them for this work. So I'm going to dismiss the kids. And after our service, we're going we're gonna to have cake. You can stay as long as you'd like and, and take a minute here and, and give these guys a hug. This is the time where the elders are going to come down and, and pray with Omri and the, the NOLA team one more time. So why don't you guys come on down and... You guys can come down up front.
humility and gratitude. We are so grateful for this day. Your word says that you have laid out the days of our lives and the boundaries with which we live. So we know that you are sovereign even over this event and the results of this church. Father, we pray for strength for this team, strength to take the next step each and every day. Perseverance, Father, to be faithful in the small things and to bear each other's burdens. Father, we thank you and we pray for courage for this team also that the gospel would be proclaimed even in the darkness of New Orleans. So we praise you, Father. Thank you again for being sovereign over all of this and equipping this team well to go on uh, to Grace Bible Church, New Orleans. Thank you. Lord, this is such a sinful, depraved world. It is cursed. This world needs the truth. This world needs the gospel. This world needs the good news. And New Orleans is no different. Lord, specifically New Orleans East, we, we pray for fruitful ministry. And we know that's not dependent necessarily upon these families that are going. It's dependent upon you. And so we lift up our, our request to you, and you already know them. Lord, we lift them up to you, and we trust you with the results. We trust you with any fruit. We trust you with the good times and with the hard times. We trust you with the relationships that are being separated now and the, the new relationships as they go that will be created. We trust you for the energy, the perseverance, the endurance that they need. And we know that your grace is sufficient for those things. Lord, we pray specifically for these families that they would be, and they are, beloved brothers and sisters. And we pray that they would be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that their labor is not in vain in the Lord. Lord, all these things are for your glory. They work hard for your glory. They work to please you. Jesus, may you receive the reward. May you receive all the glory. And it's always in your great and precious name that we pray. Amen.